Okay, so say you've taken your time to think about your boundaries, whether you're single or in a dating relationship, and you're wondering, okay, but Emily, how the heck do I bring this up to someone? It's awkward, it's weird, what if they judge me, what if they break up with me? I know, and <laughs> I have some funny stories about ways that I've had this conversation with guys in the past because I've done it well and I've also not done it well before. <laughs> Let me know if you wanna hear my not doing it well story because I'm happy to share. Uh, <laughs> I would bring it up early. I would bring it up um, not on a first date. You don't need to walk into meeting someone and be like, hey, I'm saving sex for marriage. That would just be a little intense and a little too much, a little awkward. If you feel convicted in that way because you really struggled in this area in the past and you think it's super important to bring up immediately, go for it. Everyone's convicted differently. I personally wouldn't bring that up right away. However, I think you need to talk about this very seriously before you DTR or define the relationship and officially become boyfriend and girlfriend because that's when things can get muddy, right? I think it's really good also to have this talk before you kiss, before you have really any more serious physical intimacy, if you can. I feel like in my past relationships, I've had this talk either right before, right after, or right around when that first kiss happened, which usually was pretty spot on with when I think that conversation needs to happen. So I say that because when you kiss someone, you're, I mean, kissing technically is sexual, right? Like it is very intimate and it can be really sweet and wonderful and great, but it can cloud your judgment. Like any form of emotional, physical intimacy really can cloud your judgment. And so, you know, say you have your first kiss and you're like, whoa, I am a lot more attracted to this person than I thought. So eh, maybe I'll like change my boundaries just a little bit because I really want to like do this with them. No, we don't want that to happen. We want you to have really solid boundaries and communicate them with the person that you're dating before anything gets more serious and more physical. So that would be second tip is to have that conversation pretty early on. And then once you've had that conversation, and we'll talk about later, you know, if say you have that initial talk about boundaries and the person you're dating is not on the same page, that is really important to pay attention to. And we'll talk about that in a future video in a little bit. But I also think once you've had that conversation and you've you know gotten on the same page about boundaries, this needs to be an open conversation for the rest of the relationship. It's not a one-time, one-and-done thing because you mess up and you know one person struggles with temptation in this area more than the other person or maybe you're both struggling and lust comes in and it's so normal and you need to have an open conversation about this topic throughout the relationship.